and now let me go and create another table with student details name with key constraints create table student details the column names roll number it's a number of two that should be with the primary key every student roll number must be presented and each roll number must be different and student name so it's varka 2 of 20 every student must have a name that should be not null okay next student codes it's also varka 2 of 10 this is also not null every student should opt it for a course fee <coughs> it's a number of uh, five and this is also not null every student has to pay some fee and mobile number it's a number of uh, 10 that should be unique no duplicate values into mobile number are allowed table is created so let me insert the values okay do one thing let me scroll up inserting things <coughs> insert into student details values one roll number so and so oracle yeah everything is fine this is valid okay now with the duplicate roll number is it accepted or not let me check unix and the mobile number i am going to change it to 212 so here in this record the problem is a duplicate roll number see here unique constraint violated that is the constraint violation information information that is generated by oracle engine now if i am leaving it as null still it is having a problem null values are not allowed into roll number see here you cannot insert null into Scott dot student details dot roll number Scott is the schema name student details is the table name and roll number is the column name in that schema into the table student details in the table roll number is a column into that column you cannot insert null values next let me go for a different roll number zero okay why is the student and unix and four five is the fee and if you are trying to insert a duplicate in this mobile number that is also invalid two two one two okay no problem let me go for one zero ten and x unix four five two two one two i am trying to insert for next record also say here unique constraint is violated here and remember carefully here the constraint number is 9672 here the constraint number is 9673 this is also unique constraint violated message and this is also unique constraint violated message in the first unique constraint violation you did on roll number and at last you are violating unique constraint on the column mobile number column so each and every column constraint should be considered differently each and every constraint internally is maintained with one unique number by oracle engine but you can also change these names tomorrow in in the next session we will see about that how to change or how to maintain user friendly names for the constraints and now <coughs> let me change this uh, like with 3 3 to 1 2 this is valid no problem and now let me try to insert a null value into student name null it will raise error message so and let me change the mobile number as 4 to 1 2 see here cannot insert null into scott dot student details dot s name in the previous case cannot insert a null into scott dot student details dot say here into roll number you are you are not allowed to insert a null value into roll number 
here you are not allowed to insert a null value into student name okay in such a way you will get the constrained violation messages if you are trying to insert invalid data into the tables but still you have some invalid values what is that so let me select the data from the table student details so zero is invalid and here yeah remaining all are valid here unfortunately if you insert a wrong course name in that case also it is accepted see at the place of null i am going to insert abc and the course name is also abc i am going to maintain and fee is 99999 that is valid according to your size specification and here 5212 is the mobile number see one row created but what is the problem in this the problem is zero roll number abc course name and there is no fee for any course this much of fee so how do i control them that can be controlled by using domain constraints let me create another table stood with key constraints and domain constraints roll number number of two it should be primary key and the student name it's var cap 2 of 20 and this is not null yes and student quotes it's var cap 2 of 20 this is also not null and you are trying to enter fee it's var yeah not var cap use number number of 5 and every student must have to pay fee and mobile number it's a number of 10 that should be unique now i'm going to define domain constraints on roll number roll number should be from 1 to 60 <coughs> check open the parenthesis roll number between operator the first starting value 1 and keyword and use 60 close the parenthesis next check the quotes names open the parenthesis quotes and if you have to use in operator in this list only bracket comma unix or you can also specify linux other values are not valid right next if you are going to check the fee fee between minimum 5000 starting value and maximum 15000 is the ending value yes that's finished so use close the parenthesis here again close the parenthesis use semicolon enter table is created let me insert the values into these tables the above records only i am going to insert yeah this is valid no problem here it is saying yeah you were trying to insert into student details don't try to insert into student details we have to insert into stood here it is specifying check constraint violation where is the problem somewhere it is the problem so according to my knowledge the problem is it 5000 minimum fee but here you are having the fee is 4500 okay now it is valid so i will tell you in the next session how can i specify user defined names for the constraints by using user defined names it is very easy to identify if a constraint error message is raised by oracle engine then you can easily identify that constraint message is related to which column yeah and let me go through the next record see here abc 11 is valid abc student name is valid but abc constraint is it's a course name that's invalid and here you are specifying too much high fee 9000 yeah 
now it will display check constraint violated again but a different number number will be displayed see here 9672 here 9679 check constraint violated 9679 here 9672 the problem is with course name so you have to specify the course name unix or linux or oracle now see still it is specifying something 9672 what is the problem <coughs> you are trying to insert the values into std details remove these things into student table you have to enter then it is valid yeah let me change the values here the table name is student okay yeah if you are trying to insert zero that is invalid and my student name is c and course name is oracle fee is 9000 and here 7212 is the mobile number it is specifying check constraint violated again the problem is with 9677 we have seen different numbers for different uni uh, check constraints remember that that can be eliminated if you specify different number here i am going to insert the roll number 20 now it is valid yeah now let me change the other values 50 yes it is valid student name x it is valid course name linux yes this is also valid fee is 12,000 is yes, valid and mobile number null yes valid now let me go through some other different values 40 student name x the course name oracle the student is opted for two courses and fee is 12,000 and again null value yes if you check the data from the table then you won't get any invalid values see here select star from stood see here is there any zeros in that table no zeros are there in the roll number column is there any null values in student name no is there any invalid course names no is there any invalid fee no and is there any mobile invalid mobile number no each and every mobile number is different and values are there still it is valid why because according to unique constraint it is allowing all unique values into the column according to your specified fee minimum 5000 maximum 15000 so this is valid and according to course every course name is valid there is no invalid course and every student is having a name and roll number the roll number is from 1 to 60 you specified while creating the table so every roll number is in that range above 61 is invalid below 1 is also invalid so if you define key constraints and domain constraints the table will contain only valid data there is no invalid data it's an advantage of maintaining constraints on the tables generally the business rules are defined as constraints on the table data so the constraints enforces the database to maintain only valid values so the constraints ensures the user to fetch only valid and accurate data complete and accurate data from the tables and the table should contain only valid data thereby you are maintaining database consistency it's a very very important point how do i achieve database consistency by using domain constraints and check constraints i can achieve database consistency remember that and in the next session we are going to see referential integrity constraints thank you very much